Hello there. My name is Cyril Jeet Gupta and today I want to talk to you about Google's Hummingbird algorithm, how it affects your business and how you can get over it. This is the first lesson in the series and in this lesson we will begin by introducing Hummingbird and talking about the impact that it has on search engine optimization and on search as a whole. So let's get started. All right, before I actually begin talking about the specific impact of Hummingbird on SEO, I want to go a little back into the history of search engines and talk about Google algorithm as it began. Well, I'm sure you know by now if you've been in the industry for a little while that when Google began, Google's algorithm was all about page rank and page rank was all about links. More links equals to better rankings. Right, this was how the actual SEO industry has worked for almost 15 years of Google's existence. PageRank was the revolutionary new system, new idea that instantly helped Google deliver better search results. Right? So uh, the basic principle of PageRank was approval by peers. The thing was this, if you had a website and other websites or webmasters were linking to your content from your, their websites, it would be a mark of respect in Google's eyes. It would tell Google that you were making valuable content, content so valuable that people wanted to link to it, people wanted to share about it on their websites. So this was, you can say, the earliest form of social approval, social sharing, which Google used to assess how valuable a website is. So this social mark of approval was actually put into a mathematical formula and turned into page rank and the basis of the formula was very simple if you were linked from many websites lots of websites you had to be special you had to have valuable content so in the beginning google's formula was quite simply the more links that are pointing to a website the more valuable the website is and of course it had another element of you know the page rank that is uh, from the source website. What this means is it also assessed where the link is coming from. Is it coming from a website which is new, which is not so well known, which is not visited by a lot of people or is it coming from a website which is very popular, it's a known authority in its field and lots of people are visiting it, reading the content on that website. Now it gave the websites which were popular, which were good. A higher page rank and if a website of a higher page rank links back to a website which was of a lower page rank it gave a little bit of that page rank respect to the new website so this way it could actually find out how well the website is doing if good websites are linking to it it has to be good the page rank is improved and the ranking in the search results was also improved but there was a disconnect for a long while. This was a perfect system as long as, as it was not abused, as long as links were kept for the intended purpose of either sharing information or, or linking to valuable content. And that's what linking was all about in the beginning of the internet. But as time went by, the nature of page rank changed and the nature of search engine optimization also changed. But there is a major flaw in the page rank system the flaw which prevents page rank from being a long term system from being an authority system of ranking content that very important flaw is that page rank is channelized from the peers or the website it's not channelized from the clients or the visitors of the website so the fact is this if you have got a higher page rank it means more websites are linking to you it does not mean naturally that viewers like your content viewers get to see the content that other websites like other webmasters like not what other viewers like necessarily so this flaw has crept in and the entropy that this flaw actually created in the beginning has been building up and because of this problem people were able to game the system and abuse page rank and that is what gave rise to the new 
updates and the SEO mayhem that we've been seeing since the last few months or even the last year. I will talk about that later as we go on into the course. But for now, remember, PageRank is a flawed system or it was a flawed system because it was approval by peers, approval by their masters, approval by websites, not approval by visitors. So we just saw how PageRank was an excellent system in the beginning, but it was not the perfect system and it was prone to abuse. And, and now we want to talk about what sort of abuse it gave birth to. So let's talk about how SEO professionals, I won't call many of those who abused the system professionals, but let's say how the SEO people gamed the system. Right, because page rank was all about links, websites could get a better rank if they built more links. It was logical. Page rank was all about links. Links that were pointing to your website, to your web page, from other web pages, from other websites. And the more links you had, the more page rank you had, and higher rankings you had in the search engine. And SEO for a long time was about making links. Making links on every website that you could potentially make a link on and people used every kind of tactic to make that link they would make the links by putting in articles by leaving comments featuring links back to their content by buying links on on websites that were maybe more popular and and the webmasters were looking to make a quick profit by selling links or by selling ads by trading links by exchanging links Put a link onto my website i will put a link to your website and i won't care about how good your website is or how well you are writing your content and they would steal links they would just make profiles featuring their link bags or they would just try to use any kind of spamming measure or spamming tactic to put the link on the target website basically it was a free for all make a link any way possible make it using every tactic use automated bots hire help to make links in a lot of places buy them cheat and make links it was all about link building links 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 and even the opt on page optimization was abused in a similar manner because viewers were not the people who decided how good the website is it was other website owners and the links pointing to your website from their website and the links sometimes featured the keyword that you wanted to target which would then make your page rank higher for that keyword and inside the content itself you wanted to game the system once more your aim would now be if you were an SEO professional of that time it would be to make the keyword pop out and for that Many SEO professionals, I would, I would say most of the SEO professionals recommended repeating keywords to a specific density and they would all have different sort of formulas. Some people would say repeat it thrice in a paragraph. Some people would say repeat it four times, twice, put it in the headlines, put it in the subheadlines, put it in the footer, put it in the title, the description, every which where. And all of this time, Google was fed in this bad quality content content took a back seat optimization became the most important part in promoting a website so if you're on page repeat the keywords if you're off page build links and that was the primary seo tactic and all the seo tactics that you might have heard about in many many places they were a variation of these two themes link back repeat content repeat keywords so these were the primary ways to get visitors quickly without bothering about content in the past i read a very interesting quote in a book once it was there ain't no such thing as a free lunch this means that if you get something you gotta pay for it and even if you feel that you're getting it for free right now but there will be a time in the future when you will have to pay for it or there might be a time in the past which you don't know about that you've already paid for it so this applies to the website industry also it applies to the internet marketers and it applies to seo too when you build a short-term fix for a system that you depend on long-term things go bad 
Right. So what what were the SEO people doing? What was the SEO strategy all about? It was about building a short term solution, trying to find a back door into the system on which they depended long term because they were not there to uh, just make a quick buck and get out. They were trying to keep the rankings for a long time to keep the incomes for a long time coming back to them month after month, year after year. But that does not happen because when a problem is small, it's ignorable. But when it becomes so large that it consumes the system, then it has to be addressed. And that's why later on, Google made bad quality content the most important problem it had to solve. It was even bigger than getting search right. They had to remove the bad quality content from the search engine. And that is why once the Google CEO, Eric said, the internet is like a cesspool and that was a perfect example of what was Google's priority then. It was to clear the cesspool, it was to clean it. And Google did that by some updates that it released shortly after. The first one was Panda. Panda was targeted at reducing the rankings of websites that had low quality content, that were not producing quality articles or images or whatever they were producing things were of low quality and they were just in search because of targeting a whole lot of keywords and the second update which it released a little while later was called penguin and penguin reduced the rankings of website that had built too many links link building which was an important part of improving your page rank of getting visitors and getting ranked was now not such a good idea if you were building bad quality links and making a website with lots of articles, maybe hundreds, maybe thousands of articles targeting specific keywords with bad quality 500 word content was not a good idea anymore too. Now let's understand the nature of these fixes from Google, these updates that would actually destroy the search engine optimization industry which has which had worked on bad practices and let only the search engine optimization that was of good quality, that was fair, survive. The first one was of course Panda, which I'm calling Google Fix Step 1. In Panda, it addressed a common SEO trick to create hundreds of articles targeting a specific keyword. And because they did not want to make the effort of getting good quality articles written, to make the expenditure of getting good quality articles, they would use tactics like hiring very cheap article writers from the internet from websites maybe people who did not even understand the language who could not express them properly as long as they could just write a paragraph with a keyword a specific number of times or sometimes they would even get automated software called article spinners the article spinners would actually replace the uh, words in the articles and the phrases sometimes in the articles with synonyms or with with words of similar meanings now that means that they would have a completely different article which would fool the search engine of course because it would think that it's a different article targeting a different keyword but it wouldn't be useless for the visitor who was visiting the website because the content would sometimes either be so shoddy that they could not stay on the website at all and find it meaningful or it could be confusing or repetitive or they might see the entire website being filled with such content so it was not a good time to be uh, a internet user and it was not a good time to be a search engine because both at both ends you were being gamed by the by the unethical website owners or the part of the industry that was unethical so panda what it did was it levied a negative penalty on the overall ranking of the website which it identified as using these practices for this google actually created a special algorithm which it based upon a study and a little little research and a lot of work carried out manually by people who were trying to identify these bad quality articles and spot the common trends in them and Google could finally uh, predict or it, it thought that it could predict uh, if an article was repetitive or if it was badly written using a special algorithm and when Panda was activated on the internet millions of websites went down in rankings because the content quality was not good because the content was repetitive and as a side effect because Google gave more respect or authority to 
uh, one of the big websites or the big websites in every niche suddenly the websites which were bigger which were more recognizable became even more so because google was returning more results from these websites from these so-called authority sources from the news websites from the big boys and this was a negative step for all the small website owners who were trying to do actual honest work on google who were being penalized wrongfully by panda and it was there in so many cases google got literally thousands or maybe hundreds of thousands of reports from people who told google how uh, you know their website was wrongly targeted and that's why google has been trying to update panda and after every update it tr it's trying to make the algorithm more natural better so hopefully by the time google is done uh, people who are use who are making bad quality content would still stay deranked but the people who are making good quality content will emerge back in the search engine and get back rankings okay so if panda was made to address the problem of bad quality content on the website the second major search engine update from google called penguin was meant to identify the websites that were using bad linking practices that were link building in unethical ways and get them deranked because earlier link building was the most popular and effective seo measure you could actually buy software that would put your link in hundreds of thousands of blogs or websites and just spam the entire internet with your links right and or you could buy links or you could trade links or you could put links manually through comments and blogs and there were so many ways to build links and people were trying to get through their link on other people's websites in as many ways as possible without caring about whether it was reasonable to put a link there whether the uh, website was connected to their niche or whether the website was respectable enough none of these factors would matter as long as they got their link out and the common link building tactics were dropping comments containing links on blogs and websites as i just told you getting webmasters to link to you using money relationships links link exchanges creating a fake profile on website creating low quality content networks with links pointing back at you right so all these tactics were a part of poor link building exercise and penguin identified the websites with these low quality links and levied a penalty and that actually destroyed a lot of businesses online of course google left a way out if you could actually you know remove those links and you could tell google that you've removed your link remove the bad links that you've cleaned up your act google would uh, give you a better ranking or it would boost you when the next update came up but that was of course later right now your business was dead and that brings us to the final step or the final fix that google has made in recent times to fix the problem of bad quality content and that is the bird it's clear to google now that ranking websites based on peer popularity is a bad idea it's not an idea that can be used infinitely and that's why with each tweak in the algorithm that google has made in recent times page rank's importance has reduced page rank is being now relegated to a less important place with every update from google already factors like social sharing which could be a better measure of viewer popularity page quality which is a better measure of professionalism are being given more importance in google's ranking algorithm and the page rank link building or the link oriented system that it had earlier is being given less and less importance and finally the latest update hummingbird it's all about the last step or the last holy grail of search engine with hummingbird google has tries to understand the content hummingbird is all about semantics and context the next step in search engine technology and in the coming lesson we will discuss what exactly that means how exactly it is so revolutionary and how it will change search in a big way in the coming time so this is the end of the first lesson i hope by now you've understood what was the problem in search what google did to fix it and how it changes the nature of search and why uh, so many search engine tactics which were effective earlier are not effective now in the next lesson we will understand what hummingbird is all about how it works so make sure you watch the next one too
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and go to technicforce.com for more tools and training.